What's going on you guys today is going to be replacing uh, front shocks and rear shocks on this 2001 Ford E450 uh, As you guys can see it's actually a uh, Super Duty It has a 10 cylinder uh, turbo and it's a 6.8 engine size So first thing is first we're gonna I'm thinking about uh, doing the hard ones uh, first which is gonna be the ones in the front so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is gonna uh, remove the tire and then once we once we remove the tire we're gonna lift the car up in the air and then start breaking up those nuts the holds the strut now I'm hoping that I don't have to remove the spring uh, I'm really hoping I don't have to because if we walk over here you guys can see the spring is right there and the shock is right next to it I don't think I'm gonna have to remove the spring because it should be pretty easy to get to now as you can see that it's gonna be hard to get to the nut that is up here because my hand barely fits in so we're gonna have to fit a uh, long socket and hopefully uh, yeah, it should reach and uh, hopefully we have enough space using those uh, extensions you know uh, just to have enough clearance up here so we can turn the ratchet and break it loose on the bottom is just a bolt that holds the strut at the at the bottom it just holds it down I'm gonna show you guys you can see that's all it is so that's pretty pretty much that's all it is so uh, it should be pretty easy but first it's uh let's get to work get like a pry bar just like this or a regular screwdriver and then stick it in the back right there and then pry, up, pry out Um, I was just thinking, if you guys got small hands, uh, like me, <laughs> what you guys can do, um, instead of using a socket to be able to get to it from up here on the top, I don't know if you guys can see up here, there's like a, like a, a piece of, uh, what is it, a screw or something that sticks out, and it's very pointy, and it hurts my hand every time I slide my hand in, so, the nut on the upper strut or the upper shock is actually a size 15 and if you look over here on the bottom it's actually a size 17 so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna put the rat the wrench on the inside but I'm gonna have it on the breaking it like loosening it position I'm gonna stick my hand from up here. You guys can actually do it from the bottom too, but I figured that I can reach from up here too. So if you can get it to lined up and get it to sit on the nut. There you go, just like that. And you use your 17 and put it in here and then just turn it. And then you, you can keep doing that until the nut comes out completely. If we come over in the bottom, uh, the bottom bolt is actually a size uh, 18. Get it upside down, but it's a size 18. And we're gonna have to break it loose too. This one is just a nut. It's just a nut that comes right off and then now we gotta pry this out to the right so we can get it off the stud. So the driver's side has been replaced already. Uh, I'm actually, you know, I'm sorry that I couldn't keep recording so I can show you how I did it or how I took it out. It was actually pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm actually gonna do the passenger side. Today is the next day. Yesterday I finished a little bit late and it was dark already and I couldn't, you know, keep filming and work at the same time. Plus it was getting cold, even though it's pretty chilly this morning. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this done. Uh, as you guys can see, now this one, it has the washer bushing, and then on the top, uh, 
probably not gonna be able to see it. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to. You see the washer over there, the nut, and underneath the washer is the bushing also. The other one, it was actually missing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk over on the passenger side, and you guys are gonna see that the passenger side uh, shock, at least this one has washer and bushing. And same thing, this one you can see that I can put my whole hand in here, and if we look in the back, washer bushing and the nut so we we should at least be able to get to uh you know the nut so we can break it loose much easy and then the bottom one is not a problem because the bottom one we can get to it you know from underneath it also another thing that i want to give you guys uh, i'm gonna give you guys like a tip what you guys want to do is when you want to put your floor jack make sure that your floor jack can at least lift the truck up this is a Daytona from uh, Harbor Freight. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, three tons of the floor jack that it can actually lift. That's what it says. Make sure you got the floor jack right on the close to the control arm. So this is pretty much where we left off yesterday. Uh, we was actually removing the shock. I actually was able to see, uh, show you guys how to remove it. I just use a hammer and hit it from the outside to the end. Once it's out, the next step that we're gonna do is come over on the outside. So once we on the outside, we're gonna, we have to lower the shock from the top where we where we actually remove the nut. And by removing it, you have to lower the suspension. So I'm gonna come over to the floor jack and lower it down. And as you can see, the shot came out uh, on its own. So all I have to do is come over over here, lift it up, and pull it out. Put the new one back on. So we're gonna be installing the new shock now. So you basically have the washer in the bottom, bushing on the top. Slide it down, and then slide it up get your bushings and washers and everything ready which is basically three things that you have to put on slide this up hold it up in the air lip going down washer going down and the nut just get it to screw on like a couple of turns to get it lined up on the bottom what you have what you guys have to do you can either keep dropping the suspension more down or you can lift this up a little there you go it's in so now I just gotta find the nut that goes there, which I have no idea where I put it. Okay, so we're actually in the back now. And as you guys can see, the back one, it's only it has like a screw that goes from side to side and if we follow it up let me look in the inside the inside it has a nut you know that we can actually hold it to and turn it or hold it if we have to and up on the top it has a nut it's just pretty much the same setup as the ones in the front you guys can see that this it needed shocks like really bad 
Now this is the easy one as you guys can see we got uh, plenty of space and of course there's always every time that there's something easy it has to be something difficult to get to. So the one on the passenger side if we look down it should be pretty much easy. Bolt right there but if, if we follow it up we had no space just like the driver's side front. So to get to it, I'm probably gonna have to slide my hand in the back over here and uh, hope that I can slide a wrench. I was actually able to slide a wrench from the back, like pretty much how I was telling you guys. Uh, but if you guys take a look at it, as I'm turning, let's see. So I came up with a different solution. We have this uh, pliers. I'm gonna be. There you go. And uh, let's just hope that uh, it doesn't uh, slide as I'm turning it. Come on, there you go. I should have sprayed some WD-40 because I'm probably going to have to. But uh, once you get the nut to break loose, just keep turning it until it comes out completely. So I'll be right back. is out now the other thing that we have to do is uh, come over on the bottom break that loose and it should take the strut completely out uh, I wonder what size is that probably a 17 okay it's not a 17 it's maybe an 18 same size yeah size 18 okay so once you get the nuts loose already uh, also you have to put another socket or a wrench on this side it's also a size 7 18 and then break the other side loose because if you do it just with one the whole thing is gonna turn so there's a nut and there's a stud so just get it slide out and of course, whose great idea was to put the floor, floor jack in there? Yeah, as you guys can see, uh, it actually uh, went down. <laughs> so uh, now I can take this out now. Oh wait, the other way. Come on, there you go. You can slide this out, and I should be able to pull this out. I probably gotta use a pry bar. The small pry bar doesn't work. Let's try the big one. The big one don't work. Just give up. No, I'm just kidding. Don't give up. Just 
to find a way to get it off. Fun part, getting it back in. So I was just looking at the new one. The new one, you already came with this. Uh, it came with this strap right here, which you make it made it shorter. So that should be uh, enough time for us to get it lined up and then cut this and this to go up. But then having this little plastic in is gonna be on your way and it's gonna waste time. So I'm actually gonna try to press this down while I have someone take this off, but keep this in. I don't know if you guys uh, see what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, and uh, it comes with the bushings and washers and nuts. There we go. That's basically what I was showing you guys. Uh, so I guess I was trying to leave this up here so it can be easy for me. But uh, you know, this this has a lot of pressure, so it broke it in half, and it pretty much worked out because now when I go back, I can cut it, and it pretty much worked out because it's holding the bushing down now. So I got the other one already, uh, ready to uh, go back in, and I was able to put the strap in the middle. As you can see, it's right in the middle. I gotta lift this up a little so I can uh, actually uh, get it to go. There you go. I wish I had a better uh, pry bar. This was actually uh, not too bad. There you go. It's in. one as you can see it's actually on the hall already when it comes out on the top uh, so all I have to do is just cut it cut the strap and it's gonna go uh, straight up you guys can see it's up and it came up on the top a little I just gotta cut it and it comes up straight. Okay. Getting ready to cut it. There we go. You can see it came out completely. Okay, so the next steps is putting the bushing, which is gonna be the lip facing down. There you go. And then the washer facing down too, the little plate facing down. And then the nut. There you go, and just tighten it up and Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the bottom over here. You can see the bushing and the washer it's in. And if I take you guys over here on the top, the bushing and the washer and the two nuts are in. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, today's video guys. I still gotta do the driver's, uh, yeah, driver's side on this side. And the driver's side is gonna be basically the same setup as the passenger side. So I'm gonna stop for today and I hope this video was helpful. If you guys liked it, give it a like. And if you guys have any questions, uh, post them down in the section comments below.
so i'll talk to you guys later and whatever you do stay safe and don't cut it please whatever you do do not cut those shucks because i've seen people cutting them because they say it's much easier to get to it just cutting it with the uh, grinder and uh i mean if you guys think about it man it's logic you know think about it you cut it yeah it's gonna come out easy but you have to get to the nuts on the top somehow to tighten it so how you're gonna put it back you also gonna cut the new one and then how you gonna tighten it back up so find a way to get to it I mean I understand it's the hard way but uh, if you guys figure out a way to get it out I'm sure you guys can figure out a way to get it in and that was the purpose of today's videos on showing you guys how to do it without cutting it so I'll talk to you guys later see ya